Guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. We have so much to talk about. People are still talking about this, so let's talk about this. Oh, guys, I'm Jen. Honk, honk, everyone. Thanks for being here. So I covered this event in a video just a few days ago. You can find it here, Bilking in Beige. I actually talked about it, I think it was like Saturday night. Who knows? But anyway, uh, the night that uh, I found out about it, and so I go into what this event is and some of the details, but Twitter is a light having so much fun making memes and discussing this. And I found out some more stuff since then and more pictures of release. So I want to talk about all of it. Starting with this right here. I know you've seen it, but in case you haven't, Megan's got the claw into somebody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't worry. I have all the information, but I'm just saying, just take a look at this picture. Who is this somebody she's got her claw sunk into? Would it shock you to know this person is very, very rich? No, it wouldn't shock me either. Also, who's taking this picture? Is it one of her people? It must have been, right? She must have said, get a picture with this lady so we can appear to be friends. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you about her new rich friend here who's going to be Markled. This is Jamie Kern Lima. She started that, uh, have you heard of, I don't know if it's called IT or IT, I'm guessing IT Cosmetics, which was eventually sold to L'Oreal for an estimated, oh gosh, what was it? It was like a billion dollars, $1.2 billion. Uh, when you Google her net worth, you never know how accurate those things are. But if it's even in the ballpark of what it says, it's listing her at $4. $460 million. I need to be friends with Jamie. No, this is crazy. I, I'm about to get Markled claws in. I would like to know how these people know each other, who Megan had to beg to sit next to this lady. Um, is she is Jamie trying to run away from Megan and Megan's trying to dig her claw in what's going on. I want to know all the details of this. I'm kind of obsessed, but there's something else that completely has my attention. Again, my first thought is who's taking this picture? Like everybody else in this room is interesting to me, but not so much Megan. So I'd like to know about everybody else's story. I don't care about me. So, <laughs> but why, oh, why are we getting a photo of Megan? It must've been one of her people, right? She must've had an assistant or somebody, some poor soul point this camera and say, click, click, click. So that way, what, she can blackmail people with it? I don't know. But again, I don't care who you are. I find this position so weird. I wouldn't even do this if I was sitting next to like, I don't know, the twins. I might joke with them about it, but after a while, it's like, get your hand off. If it's Jay, I'm still like, get your hand off me. Like, why are you clawing at me? What is this? It's just not, I, I'm sorry. It's not natural. Like they, if you, if you, what's that? If you love somebody, let them free. But, um, <laughs> if you are a human, let them free. This is crazy. The claw. Okay. But I zoomed in close. Anybody notice anything here? Cause I certainly do. All right. What in the holy shit is going on with her top? Um, if I can be crass here for a second, this top is about four sizes too too big. We saw it in the other picture. Let me show you here. See, it's like four sizes too big, as are the pants. And again, it's not something I would normally talk about, but I don't believe undergarments can be worn with this thing because it's backless. Again, would you wear that to a meeting? Probably not, but you know. Megan would. Um, but so, okay, think about that and then look next to her arm here and, and use your imagination. I mean, what in the holy crap? The same thing happened in Nigeria. Remember she wore that dress that was gapping and you could basically see her cash and prizes in there. So, <laughs> or lack thereof, um, especially funny coming from, you know, deal or no deal. But, um, yeah. So just think about that as she's calling her next victim here. I just found this picture so weird. It's floating around. I didn't know if you had seen it. Uh, Twitter, is, formerly Twitter, whatever, X is going nuts over this. I guess it was posted by this Jamie person. Again, I don't use Instagram, so I don't, I just can't care. But um, yeah, good luck being Markled. Uh, if you want somebody to waste all your money, then, you know, you, you're getting clawed by the right person. So this was posted by... Oh, this name, Megan, the Duchess of Pit Stains. It says, no bronzer around rich white women. Hashtag Megzy, you complete user and hypocrite. I thought that was interesting as well. I talked about it on my video. Seems to have forgotten the spray tan and bronzer on this one. I'm sure it was purely coincidental and no other reasoning. 
Except the fact with Megan, there's always a reason. So here we have it. Here she is in the Hamptons, and here's just weeks ago in Nigeria. Notice anything? Because I sure as shit do. And because I know how the lemon rats work, I'm just going to show you the full unedited, well, on my end, I don't know if Megan edited anything, but of uh, the full unedited photos that I found this from. You can find them on the web. Here's the one of Megan in the Hamptons in July. Here's the one of Megan in Nigeria. What was that, in May? So, mm, interesting, right? Mm. So not to hammer this point home too much, but here's my thumbnail. The only thing that I did was I flipped the image on the left side because I needed a little more space to put the text. See where I kind of covered that lady's face. It says, in May, covered in bronzer in Nigeria. I did nothing else to the pictures. These are just pictures you can find online. Now, granted, the one on the right is a lighter picture, but shes you can see it. She's not bronzered up. And dare I say, did she lighten her hair as well? She has those big, dumb sunglasses on, so you can't see her eyebrows. I would love to know. You know what? Let's go back and look at the claw picture and see if we can see the eyebrows. I'd love to know if she darkened her eyebrows as much. I'm guessing probably not for this event. Here you go. This is about as techy as I get. I dropped the picture of her clawing that lady next to this one. And hey, look at that. It looks like they're not quite as darkened in this photo. And her hair looks lighter too. Interesting, right? Because she's in the Hamptons? Yeah, I think so too. So Aussie Chick shared this. Hello, Aussie Chick, if you're watching. How predictable she is. Rachel doesn't look at anything online. Remember, that's her her go-to. I don't look at things online. <laughs> I read whatever the public, I don't even care. Whatever publication she was pretending to sound smart with that she clearly didn't read. Um, she says she doesn't look online. But then here she is <laughs> clapping back. Uh, and I hate that expression, but she is. She's clapping back through social media, through different, uh, her stands, uh, the Lemon Rats, saying that she's a supportive and loving friend, that there's nothing sinister about this and and all that. And Royally Sage points out Rachel was big mad that we made fun of her possessive control claw uh, and her and had her friend address it. Just like Catherine, we live rent-free in her head. So yeah, I think it's really funny. Thank you, Meg, for being such a supportive and loving friend. Oh, this is from, see, I didn't even read this in advance. This is from, I guess, I, I don't care. Like, enjoy being markled. If this is really from that um, very rich lady, she's being clawed onto. Maybe, I don't know, read the news, do a little homework, figure out who's clawing onto you. But hey, if you don't care, then enjoy, again, enjoy being Markle. Now I love to shout out Lean Meme Machine. Gotta give her a big shout out here for this one. Unpublished pick parody frequent flyer hashtag toe jam. Added in her feet and um, that whatever that nonsense is that she puts on top of her jam. Well, they added to Megan's head. Well done, Lean Me Machine. And might I just say, I'm so proud of you. What I mean is, I have been a longtime fan of Lean Me Machine. You guys know if you follow me at all, I shout her out constantly because I think she's brilliant. Well, others see her brilliance as well. Just remember me because I noticed your brilliance early on. Um, <laughs> but she's asked to be a guest on several shows. And guess what? I asked her too. So she's going to be coming on my show very soon. And we will ask lean machine, lean meme machine, all of our burning questions. Like, how are you so creative and how do you come up with this stuff? So be thinking of your questions and, uh, I'll post, I'll post soon to take your questions for lean meme machine. And, um, a little birdie told me she might be on a uh, really, I don't know if she wants me to say it yet. So I'll just say a really big channel very soon. And I don't mean mine. I mean a really big channel and I'm very excited for her. And so that's awesome. And then again, she's agreed to talk to me very soon. And I can't wait to bring you that. Lean Me Machine, we're so proud of you here. Shall we take some time and lavish in this photo? Yeah, I think so too. Now, while I'm not the biggest Gwyneth Paltrow fan, see my Patreon for details. Um, I, I'm becoming one because of stuff like this. So this was, again, shared on that thing that mystifies me. And by that, I mean Instagram um, yeah, it looks like it was an invitation only event and wah, wah, guess who wasn't invited? I'll give you a hint. She's probably breaking plates over it. She's like, damn it. I didn't take off enough bronzer. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it looks like there's a private exclusive invite only event right there with Gwyneth. I believe it was at her goop place there in the Hamptons. And, um, 
Oh, you guys, Megan wasn't included. Whose whose fault is that? How, is she gonna blame Harold for this? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, HRH Princess Chelsea shared this. You want to know why an emergency phone call was made to the Spanx friend? <laughs> the Spanx. Um, she was going to the event. Snarkle was hoping to gain her access to Goop Table. Unfortunately, that event was not an automatic invite to Gwyneth's party. Even Delphinia got a photo with Gwynny, not Snarkle Von Bunyans. <laughs> so to break this down, thank you, HRH Princess Chelsea, to break this down. Yeah, uh, Nacho's other half can't stand them either. Uh, did get an invite to this. So can you imagine how ticked off Megan is to not be included in this and how delicious this is going to be? She can't get too mad at, uh, I never say the lady's name, Raisa Delphinia. Nacho's wife, because, um, you know, she's like all that Megan has left, but uh, I'm sure she's pissed. And this was shared by Goo, at Good Boy Goo too. Mmm, I bet it smells amazing. <laughs> and they made this photo of Gwyneth holding her candle. You know what the original candle says this smells like. We'll leave it there. Well, they changed it to this smells like you weren't invited. I love it. I think that's so clever and brilliant and even funnier knowing that uh, Megan will see it since she is on social media and it will bother her so much. All right, let's talk this according to Taz, because a lot of you have asked me about this. There's a new book out about Catherine. And originally I thought, yeah, sure. I love Catherine. I'd love to talk about it. I will not be talking about it. And I think Taz does a great job of explaining why she also will not be talking about it. Or reading this book. All right, Robert Jobson, he wrote uh, the book Our King. I did go over that one. But um, yeah, this is why. Because he's been playing both sides and doing the where's Kate of it all and uh, using Catherine to cash in. And I think that's, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I've seen all this with Omid, palling around with him, and that's all I need to know. So I think I'm good on him. So I won't be covering it either. If you read it, definitely let me know. I mean, I you know, I love hearing about Catherine, but I just, seeing stuff like this makes me realize, yeah, mm -mm, I don't believe anything this guy says. I don't believe he has the inside track, especially if he's palling around with Omen. All right, and this was shared by Lou Bug Windsor, basically saying, similarly, it's poorly written, unsubstantiated unsubs gossip, and... um. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. They, they, they're putting out, you know, Catherine's vulnerable state. And they're using things like William dumped Catherine during a 30-minute phone call. Um, and, and and even if it's the, that's the case, knowing where we ended up now, why do we need to why do we need to put that out there? I know it's to sell books, but you know what? It really does gross me out. So I, I'm totally good skipping this one. It sucks because I love anything Catherine. If there's a good book about Catherine, about somebody who actually, you know, loves and supports her like we do, please let me know. I'm down to read it. But this is not it. Guys, this has been so much fun. I really appreciate you all so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, let's see. Today is probably Wednesday if I did this right, if I put these up in the right order. So that would mean that tomorrow, Thursday, I have a big one coming out. I re-examine that fire <laughs> I'm using the word very loosely. I'm using uh, air quotes around that. Thank Joey from France in uh, the South African nursery. And uh, some of the stuff I learned about after deep diving that. And I have a little clip from HG Tutor talking about it. So check back with me tomorrow. I'm excited to share it with you. As always, thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. You know, it means the whole wide world to me. And I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. I hope you have the best day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>